Oh, for bastard buggering. Uh, I fucking hate this. Right. Yeah, receiving content. No? Yes? No? What's going on? Is it working? I don't know. <laughs> Honestly. First of all, let's fuck this off straight away. All right, stream is up. Brilliant. That's marvellous. Right, fucking hell. Right. Let's get it. Right, we're going to do Pimble Dreams. We are going to do pinball dreams. And boy howdy is it going to be fun. Oh boy is it going to be fun. We are going to have a good old time playing pinball dreams. And we ain't giving no two fucks about nothing else. We ain't getting no shit. We ain't getting no... Because we are going to put together a party that's going to be... That's going to be so fucking good. You guys ain't going to believe what's going to happen here. Okay, the stream is up. We're talking turkey. Leo wouldn't tell me a fib. Fair light where dreams come fucking true. We're gonna play pinball dreams. Yeah, so that this. Oh, right. The one problem we do have is this fucking thing is not working. So, I don't wanna. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the language. I'm sorry to Hattie's baby for the language. I just had an absolute, you know, all this technology for free. I just, I get fed up with it sometimes. So we're going to go like this. We're going to try and confuse it by doing this. And then we're going to go like this. And then we're going to just paste that bastard straight back in there. And then the chat is going to work again. And we are going to play, yes, as I said, we are going to play Pimble fucking dreams and we're going to fucking enjoy it everybody's going to be happy yeah, fuck yeah. was pinball illusions actually written by digital illusions i have a feeling it wasn't so it's a bit of a piss a bit of a you know a bit of a piss take that they um bit of a piss take that they uh give it the old illusions on the title just going to do one thing here, just slightly. Okay, there we go. No, it was not. Here we go. Let's enjoy the music because Hattie likes that. Anybody still watching? Is it just me and... Oh, yeah, I don't know how many... I, I've now fucking given up. I don't know. It should be up. I don't know. I'm going to play pinball greens for a bit and I'm going to go to bed. Hello, Sean. I mean, I've got no idea. Watching, but it's just a black screen. Yeah, I, I don't even know what window the chat's working in now. I've completely lost track of this. I don't know. I, I, I don't know what's going on. 
So if anyone can actually talk to anybody else and tell them where to go, tell them. Right, fuck it. Oh, I've just gone and done a two-player game. Right, here we go. Ah, this is... Ah, thank you, million. disabled on you. Let's get a rhythm going. Oh, go up there, you bastard. Oh, oh you... For that million, thank you. Go on, give us the three million. Oh, oh fuck you, fucking bastard, buggery ass wank. Yeah. Just give up. Come on. Right, here we go. And another, thank you. And another. Oh, you bastard. Up there. Oh, get around. You have the million, right? Oh, bollocks. Get around, you bastard. Oh, I went and read them messages. Hello, glowing perspective. Nice to see you here. Thank you for coming. Everything's running smoothly. This is action packed. This is entertainment. This is highbrow. This is what you want. International filmmaking celebrated this very evening for my filmmaking talents. Couldn't go, but spoke to an audience of many people in journalism, people in films, people in everything. Producer of five star film. Reviewed in Mojo. Throughout the land, made a website about a foot and became internationally renowned. That is who you're watching, and runs a smooth, tight ship.
extraordinary in almost every way. High brow. High brow. Get around there, you bastard. And again. Oh, you fucking git. Get up there, you bastard. Get around there. And again. Oh, oh you. Get up there. Oh. Up there! Yes! And again. Get up there! Ah! Oh. International renowned producer. No, non. Three continents. <laughs> Four continents if you count Australia as one. Well. I have travelled to across the world. I speak several languages. I have worked with songwriters of their generations. I am I have lived with Chinese people. <laughs> and I have known the rich and famous. I know people think I'm joking, but genuinely, I had a film in an exhibition, uh, in a, in a, you know, festival tonight, and Werner Herzog's film was, oh, I mean, didn't realise it was the third ball, and the film that followed it was Werner Herzog. I don't have any moderators on my streams. <laughs> don't be silly. Why would I do that? I moderate my own streams. I don't know how I hand that kind of power to other people. What do you think I am? Right, so one of my friends, I was going to tell this story, one of my friends went to the launch for um, Bitcoin, and at the launch for Bitcoin, they were handing out free Bitcoins, and she turned them down. <laughs> I keep meaning to mention that story on this stream. I don't know, it was some big thing, I think, in New York or something to launch it. And I think it came down to having to fill in the form or something. She was like, I don't want them to have my details. Oh, they were worth a for I mean, now they're worth a fortune. Aren't they? But I mean, she got them when they were trying to give them to her, and they were worthless. And she was like, "Nah, I don't need that." What? You might, you, what are you going to do? Email me or something afterwards? No, I don't, I don't think I'll be doing that. But she used to work. Um, she used to work um, like. 
a lot of the exclusive New York events. Fuck it. MSG, go and look at the Doc Lisboa. Go and look at the Doc Lisboa thing. You see my film is there. It was on tonight. Go to the website, Doc Lisboa. Internationally recognised filmmaker. Artistically acknowledged by my peers. Honoured by them showing my film this evening. Funded the film with money I'd made from stacking shelves in Tesco's. And then I got it on DVD and it was reviewed in Mojo, in Record Collector, where it got five stars. Ugh. And um, I'm a pretty big cheese down at the Cracker Factory. I mean, I don't want to be funny, but I have been on a stream with a thousand people, thousand people watching. I don't know why I can't do that anymore. I used to be able to just get it to loop right around. This is the thing, because I've done quite a lot, really, but I've never really been rewarded for it. It's really hard to make money in the arts. I get all the accolades. I mean, but like this film tonight, I guess they probably... I know the tickets are about 4 50 each. Um, and they had a lot of people there, but I mean, I don't get a penny of that. Four euros fifty, I should say. I guess they're only just covering their costs for the hire as well. So. Yeah, don't post the IMD page for it. <laughs> it won't let you post links. But yeah, the page is there, and you'll see. I ain't telling no fibs. Oh, I'm pressing control instead of shift. So yeah, I don't know. Well, I am producing it. I've got a project I want to get done. But the situation is so bad with my, my housing and everything. I, I don't know what I'm going to do. But something will come along and hopefully I'll get some proper work soon. But if I'd been there, that thing, I maybe somebody would have given me work. I don't know. But I would have had to have flown to Lisbon. and it's just nothing works when you're down and out. But I'll keep going. Problem is, when you do something good creatively, some people might be interested. But they very rarely give you work on the back of it. Fuck it. I've had enough of this one. I should have saved this next one for um, Halloween or Brexiting. Alright, reconnected apparently. Okay now. You fucking bastard, honestly. Just getting so fed up with this. <laughs> I'm getting so fed up with this. 
ah, 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 ah. Why is that even fucking me? Okay, looks like chat is up, up again. That's great. Okay, fabulous. Right. Ah, 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 ah. The fu where is this? Somebody invite me to this Discord. Somebody invite me to this Discord. Uh, fuck. Music on this is the best music in this game. is making that noise over and over again. Oi! <laughs> okay, monkey Jesus. Oh, f why don't I just... I'll, I'll just post the invite to my own. Does that make sense? Fuck it. Uh, How do I do it? Discord, oh for God's sake, bastards! Everything's a bastard! That was... <laughs> I hadn't meant to... Oh, right, okay, so it's... Alright, okay. Uh, open. I don't really want to have people talking on my, my one, but... Yeah, I am logged in. So... Uh right, how do I invite people to mine? Uh. Unless someone's gonna invite me into Monkey Jesus, I don't know. I, f I wish I could fucking see the chat. Uh yeah, post post uh post the link and then I can repost it. OSG, go for it. My jacket. Oh, fucking hell. Or um or WhatsApp it to me and I'll post it.
Alright, kids. Oh, fuck it. Alright, I'm gonna lose that ball. Okay, so we got a. We got an invite coming into the chat here. Fuck it. Of course, you won't fucking let me post it. You fucking bastard! Right, okay. You have to manually type this link in now. Let me just. Yeah, fuck. It's fucked it. Right, brilliant. Fuck you. Fuck you, Firefox. Fuck you, Google. Who. What the fuck you're doing to this thing? To deliberately nobble it. Yeah, I will, I will, yes. Oh, is it only me that needs to use it? I mean, I don't fucking know. I'm just going to type it manually, okay? Uh, okay, I'm typing it manually. There's noise and fucking shit going on everywhere in my head. Right, there we go. That's it. There we go. And now what the fuck is it doing? And that link, that's an invite. Oh, I've just seen, I've got, I've got monkey G. Oh, was I supposed to post that or should I delete that? Because now it's getting, well, it's permanently welded into the thing now, so. Oh, is this gonna fucking do it? Just the noise is just everywhere. Was I not meant to post that? I might have done something wrong. I hope you look at my this far. The, the only people that are watching this now. Oh fuck off! Right. Oh 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 ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. Why isn't this working? Why does nothing work? <laughs> Right, here we go. Accept invite. <laughs> On my way to Discord, OSG's Discord. <laughs> right. What was that? Fucking F12, that. Uh, right. Wow. Right, anyone that's talking in the general chat is now going to be coming through live. Hello, Hello Bifta. HB Bifta. Leo, how are you? I'm good. You're good. That's great. Sorry? Wow, you're quiet. <laughs> had to mute my screen. You had to mute your screen. Okay, cool, cool. Well, look, you're, you are... You, Otherwise, you'll get constant reverb of it. Well, oh, well, you're you are you're now going live. You are live. Do not swear. You are live on the yeah, right. official. Not um, swear. That, this will be interesting. The official Amigal Amigal <laughs> official Amigal channel. <laughs> welcome, welcome. And maybe I don't know if OSG will come in or he has to be quiet because his wife will beat him. Um, but maybe he's what? So uh, this, uh, this is it now. The volumes are all over the place. Uh, Yes, yes. You, you can only sort that out at your end. Right, okay, right. What's this? Amiga Bang. Uh, I'm forgetting that I'm in shot and everything, so this is really... I don't know what I've done. Why can't we hear... Le can't you hear Leo? Uh, it's just, you should be able to hear Leo. Yeah, I can see him coming through. Um, am I, we've been able to hear the music on the games all night, haven't you? Haven't you, Leo? <laughs> well, this is all going rather swimmingly. Hello. Hello. You've been able to hear the music on the games this evening, haven't you? Yes. 
Yes, good, yes. So they should be able to hear you. Turn him up. I can't. Oh, hang on. Okay. Let me turn him up. Maybe that's better. What's this? Now things are happening. Uh... Lucas, in the left hand bar of the screen, you'll see text and voice channels. Oh, here's Monkey Just Jesus. Channel and you'll join us. Uh, hello, Monkey Jesus. Please do not, uh, you know, don't cause any major offence. Hello, mate. Yeah. Uh, no worries. Um, I'm just uh, a confused monkey going along for a ride at this point. Yeah. Monkey Jesus, so pleased to make your acquaintance uh, in this unconventional manner. <laughs> Isn't the future amazing? Yeah, it's shit, mate. You know, one of my favourite songs, <laughs> one of my favourite songs is by uh, Donald Fagan, and it is called IGY. And it is about um, how everything supposedly in te the future and technology and everything was going to be like it was going to be the, the badges and edges and you know the, the bees knees and everything and um, how it how it you know it just how everyone was looking forward to all that kind of stuff and really we know it's kind of shit really so um is it though join us it's like back in the day we didn't have like the ability to talk to each other like this man and and, and True. Get, you know find find kindred spirits and uh you know, share common interests, and that's that's a beautiful thing, surely. Well, yeah, I mean, it kind of gets you into trouble as well, though. I mean, like, I mean, a few people know some of the people I've worked with, um, and uh, I've worked with some really great people, but I managed to not make any money doing it. Um, I probably wouldn't have made the film that was shown at tonight if it wasn't for all the technology, because the idea of making a a music film for camera with like record with a, you know 16 24 channels of sound whatever as we recorded uh, on a on, on no budget is would have been impossible and maybe i would have yeah. got a regular job instead of spending 18 months of my life doing that and never making any money from it um yeah but, no i understand it man we're i'm making yeah. an album with my band at the minute and it's a labor of love yeah and uh you know you do it because you want to do it, and it's you. You got you got that passion, man. It's cool. Well, I, um, yeah, but then you d I don't have a house, and I don't have any family. I've been, I've been working with um, an ama absolutely amazing talent based in America. Fantastic, and yeah, that opportunity wouldn't have come um, if it wasn't for the internet. Um, so yeah, you know, you do, but it's like a lot of suffering. There's an awful lot of suffering to get to get where I don't know maybe it's just me maybe I just suffer a lot I don't know I no I understand that man I think I think suffering's universal isn't it um yeah, you know, mate, we, you, we all have our own faults and our own crosses to bear and I suppose it's yeah but windows you know, blue screen of death I, I, <laughs> it's, I don't want those burdens they're too much I just want things to work yeah no no I suppose it's um when technology is working right, it, it's a beautiful thing. But when it's not, it's it's a cursed freaking yeah. bane, really. You know, it's not. Yeah, no. When it, yeah, it's 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 unpredictable. No, I've got um, and live streams. Are, ooh, 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 live streaming's. Uh... Well, you find it scary. Well, it's you know, it, it's just it just anything can happen really, because you know, like you know, it's, if you're not prepared for something, we well, are live streaming it can now. Completely farmix me, to be honest. Me at least, it's um. That's why I'm, I'm low. Easily confused, monkey. That's why I'm low values on this channel. <laughs> I don't care. I done. I've done a, a really strong high value stream, um, and I've kind of tried to produce. Well, I tried to help set up my friend with uh, on a high value stream, but unfortunately, my low values came through on these like the setup thing. But um, it, it's it's it you, as long as you know how to handle when things don't go to plan, then you're all right with these things. You know, I mean, you, well, I, yeah, I suppose you've, yeah, you got to keep your calm and keep calm, cool, and collected. Really, um, that's me. You just sort of try and plow on through. That's it. That's, that's what I do. I just keep yeah, composed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just, you know, the, the budget and scarf approach. Don't let yeah. people know that you're flustered. That's what I say. Just simply present. Be like uh, one of the greats, like Philip Ellsmer, uh, who who 
had the ability to simply keep the viewer assured when things were going wrong and uh, simply just just keep a <laughs> keep yeah. composed at all times yeah, yeah keep, on, keep keep your composure yeah that's your, probably your, your, your number one rule as a, as a live streamer keep calm yeah so can um, i ask you as a monkey do you mainly live in the forest or uh, well in the zoo it turns out I was uh, animal trafficked into the country oh. uh, for a collector. Hello, I heard it. Escaped there, there yes. uh, and then got put into another private oh. zoo, and then I made my way to Red Car, and oh. I've been living as a fugitive ever since. You're in Red Car. <laughs> yeah, uh, I... the, the the animal traders are still hunting for me, <laughs> and uh, I I always expect a, a, a blow dart to the neck at any yes. point. Yes. Um, and I don't like cages. Yeah, they they make me nervous. <clears throat> I can I can just about hear uh I can just about hear Leo somewhere in the background there making a comment, but I couldn't quite perceive what he was saying. Do they use golf? Oh, Bifta. Is that is that Bifta? Is that yes. Leo? Yes. Hey yes. Bifta man. Hey man. So I'm I'm Hello. struggling to hear you too as well, man. You you kind of quite. Um, I think I could so much I could do with this terrible. Oh, that's better. The background, hang on. As well. How are you streaming and talking on the? Are we are we live on your? Yeah, streaming? sorry, I was saying you're live. You're streaming now, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm super happy you know, I, I, yeah. I'm, I'm too tired to pick yeah. you pick up on it this yeah. time. I always pick up on it. Uh, oh, sorry. If that ups, if that worries you, I'll. If that worries you, I'll just I'm tell you. I'm not jet lagged, but I'm, I'm kind of life lagged. Split split personalities. It's been a long weekend. Yeah, it's just there's just another one of me that I just I just divide off and, it, and yeah, you've closed yourself. I've yeah, just yeah, cloned yeah, myself. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry about oh, it. Oh well, yeah, they, they, don't that, concern. It all makes sense now. I'm going to mute that. See, I even uh, said to you, you're uh, streaming now and you're managing. Yeah, I no, said, I do know, not swear. I heard it. <laughs> I heard the human words. They went into yeah. my monkey yeah. ears, but yeah. uh, there was. Uh, some kind of trans uh, translation error. Hi, Lucas. Again, I Hello. can't hear you, buddy. I can. Can hey. everybody hear me? I can hear yeah, you, Lucas. Yeah, you go. Hello, yeah. man. <laughs> okay, hey, hi, guys. Look at this. Look. Ian Technology Grand. So, we're on a, it's like it's like we're on a, a party call. Just to, like to, to remove any doubt, Lucas, you are live on the Amiga Rob stream. <laughs> this is. <laughs> there's only one of me, and uh, I can only stream one. I can't. I, I'm good at many things, but I'm not good at, at <laughs> dividing myself. I don't do asexual re reproduction, so I, I must. We are. We are. We are talking. You know, we are live to the nation, to ah. the world. Brilliant. I, I made it. I pressed the lead button. button. Oops. <laughs> no, no. I really am a tired, tired monkey. Oh. Need a banana. I don't want to like, see if I turn my tally up to hear Lucas and Leo. I'm, I'm gonna have it feedback. And, we could get Hattie on. Let's get Hattie on. Oh, <laughs> Let's Hattie. get Hattie on as well. Why not? Hattie. She fell asleep. She's falling asleep, so she'll be valuable. Oh, it's a shame, man. Well. It's a shame Anna's not, not up anymore. She could have joined as well. Oh, she. All right, okay, Anna. Well, so this is good. We've had. So I, I think know. Anna's gone to sleep, though, Amiga. Right, well, that's fine. But we've <laughs> had we've had three people of the female. I'm going to say sex and not gender. Now I don't I don't know if any of these people that are purporting to be females are, you know, uh, well, yeah. You know, I don't want to get into any trouble. But uh, we get we get you, mate. We you get, have yeah. to be careful because I, there's some nice people I've spoken to. It's a minefield. To. There's, <laughs> it's, it, yeah. It, uh, there's really nice people I've spoken to, but I, I'm, I am a bit of a stickler for if something one is a woman, if we're statistically recording them as a woman, they kind of need to be a woman, if you see what I mean, you know. So, everyone's gone quiet because they're frightened. No, no we're, we're, we're listening to you digging. Well, it, it doesn't bother me because people know I'm a, a free speaking, you know. Yeah, no, we know we know where you're from, man. It's cool. Yeah. It's cool. Well, look, this is the I'm thing. I'm just in. trying to look for a natural. What well, heard you then, Leo? So I'm just trying to look for an actual gap in the conversation. In you come, Leo. Yeah, I can hear you now, mate. Cool. I feel yeah. like I'm ramming a microphone up my nose. Is anybody else seeing? Is um, Rob's out of sync with me on the video? Is anybody else seeing that? Sync on the video, eh? 
<laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm watching the stream now, and yeah. your voice is out of sync when you talk. Oh, it will be, because be. you're yeah, seeing it, you're hearing me live, and on the right. on the stream, it'll be a few seconds after before it appears. Oh. All right, I'm a bit of a noob. It's the first time I've done this. Don't worry, it mate. It takes. It was. It was freaking me out as well, Lucas. Everything we're saying is being captured by YouTube, going up to yeah. YouTube, being processed by them, and then right. broadcast by them. So it has a good delay on it before you actually see it on the stream or hear right. it. Right. Yeah, it just puts you off a I bit. Think Rob's using Restream as well, so that will be oh, coming yeah. into the mix. Yep. <laughs> it adds more yep. time on. Complicated it, Hattie. We have got uh, Lucas, we've got Monkey Jesus, and we've got Leo who are uh, talking just to keep you up. Because Hattie fell asleep, because oh bless her, she has been. I'm, I'm, I'm not far behind it to be honest. Well, she's had a busy. I'm, 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 I, I got watching your stream, and that was it. Oh well, I was I was set in really. So she's had a busy year producing humans, so you can understand why she's tired. She's she's. Oh yeah, but producing humans takes it out of you. Some it filmmaker does. called Rob I'm being referred to. Thank you, Glowing Perspective. Um, yeah, we've had at least three, as I was saying, at least three people of the, f uh, you know, who were born with vaginas. Can I say that? Is that acceptable? <laughs> <laughs> Is that the best way of doing it? I don't know. Are we allowed to I, say? I, I wouldn't go, go labelling people, mate. I think it's probably the best way just to call them by their names and leave it at that. Well, no, I, I well, I, okay, then I wait then. We've had at least I three people. We've had at least two best, people. Best <laughs> We've had at least two people that were born with vaginas, as far as I know. And if they weren't born with vaginas, <laughs> then that's their business. I just like having people with vaginas watching my stream because, you know, I don't want to be funny. It's good for metrics, yeah. I want No, not good for metrics. I just like I just like people with vaginas watching my stream. Is there anything wrong with that? It's not like I'm trying to... I think Hattie knows that I, I've never once... I would never... She's a married woman. Uh, you know, I, it's not for any... It's just because... I like supporting <laughs> women. It's as simple as that. And, uh, yeah, you, yeah. you know, we've got people like, you know, we've got Octavius and a load of other women out there. But it's nice to have women viewers because normally the viewers are men. You know what I mean? Oh, I said women. Now, I said women. Now, I don't know if I'm allowed to say that. I can't talk about <laughs> vaginas. I can't talk about clitorises. We're going to try and avoid saying any word. <laughs> I think I said it, but I might get away with it. Okay. Now, right, Hatton. Yeah, yeah, you've got away with it. You've got away with it. Yes. Yeah, that's you right. styled it out. I'm just, just you just got to smooth over these things. So we're in this era where you can't say man, you can't say woman, you can't say penis, you can't say vagina, you can't. If listen, I don't know if any of you people are fascists or not, but I don't. But you're not allowed to not want to have sex with someone with a penis. What? It's a, it's a rule. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a rule. Let's not go down that avenue, it's but it doesn't matter whether you're a man or a woman. It's as simple as that. But anyway, so what I was trying to say was it's nice to have people that may or may not be women. Uh, let's not put any labels on them. Um, I like to see <laughs> some female name of people. Well, I don't know whether they're female New or not, but it's on that nice. One, New York has 52 recognized genders. Well, I myself, being a cloud cloud spirit, I, I feel that, that that's about time that we recognise the many, many different genders. But then me, as a scientist, would say that gender is made up nonsense, uh, which keeps people in jobs. But, you know, it's, 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 it, you know, it's confusing. Different parts of me think different things. Whatever people, whatever floats people's boats. Well, I identify as a crested black macaque, so... That's fair enough. That's fair. You, you huh? yeah. A macaque is a good thing to identify as. Yeah, oh, they're, they're great monkeys, and they're so darn cute. And it's kind of me in monkey form, so yeah. Yes. Kind of made sense. Yeah, yeah. That's it. So uh, you know, there's no offence meant to be caused to anyone for you know whatever position they may be in just to just to labor the point slightly it's it, whatever you may have been born with in your pants is of no interest to me none whatsoever none uh the... I, I was born with shit in my pants <laughs> <laughs> well, if a you bit were... after a little bit later i was gonna say if you were born with pants <laughs> on then 
I want to yeah, know. I want to know what your mother was eating. But the 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 pies. That's it. Pies. That's it. I'm. All the pies. So I've just seen OSG is going. Um, Don't mention yeah, pies. Yeah, where's OSG? Why is he not in there? Oh, he's going. He's gone. We're in his chat. We're in his. We're in his Discord, and he's well. Right. So. He sent me a picture earlier. I, I'm he's Mr. Dangle Spanners. I I, I spoke to him earlier at what exchange messages, and he said, "I said you streaming." He went, "You know how he talks." How oh, yeah, man? I'm not gonna be streaming at night. I was using <laughs> my computer. I, I was using my computer with what 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 kid you know, and how oh, yeah, man? <laughs> Look at what's happened, Leek! And he sent me a picture of his computer, which was in bits. And I said to him, "What you need is a screwdriver, pal. Looks like the screw, <laughs> looks like the screws have fallen out." And he went, "What are you talking about, Leek? I've got plenty of screwdrivers. I don't need any screwdrivers, man. What do you think? I haven't got no screwdrivers. You, what do you think? You think I get all this way through life without having a screwdriver? Of course, I got screwdrivers, man." <laughs> No problem, screwdriver. And I said, "Oh well, if you've if you've got screwdrivers, then maybe you should have um, maybe you should have your next aspiration should be to get spanners." And he went, "He went, what are you talking about? I've got five adjustable spanners, as it happens." And that, that, and that to me raised questions because I thought, "Who needs who needs five adjustable spanners? Surely the point of having an adjustable spanner is that you only need one or maybe two at most for each hand." Yeah, five's kind of redundant. Five Depends upon the leverage and the maximum side. And I that is why we banner. have so Leo long. here. Leo comes straight in and brings sense to the whole conversation. You need leverage. So there, you go. there he goes. Sometimes you need more leverage. <laughs> Sometimes you need a bigger size head. It's just that simple. Depends on whether you're yes. opening a nut so a centimetre across or one that's five inches. You have to check your nut <laughs> and see <laughs> which what, one what are we talking you about need here? to which one you need to insert for the maximum leverage, I see. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's it. Check the size of the heads. We are because talking about the spanners, circumference right? might only be five centimetres and if you've got one uh, if your nut is too big then you will be <laughs> unable to lever and <laughs> Next thing you know, your flange has gone <laughs> completely skew it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's it. <laughs> Make sure that your flange grommets are tightened up nice and tight. And yeah, always remember nice to lubricate sufficiently to avoid any problems you might have. Well, with tight nuts. If, if, if this is your game, then. Uh well, yeah. Well, yeah. Good luck, good luck with the ladies. <laughs> did I mention? Did I mention I'm an internationally tonight internationally recognised? Uh, not not in the last five minutes, no. Uh, well, I thought I'd, I thought I'd heard that before. I haven't heard it once. Not at all. Really. International. International. Well, I've got to say it because this is all I'm getting out of it. 18 month project. I I didn't really make that much money. Well, I made my money back. Um, but it weren't much, and uh, I was actually talking with a very large music company that you would all have heard of, kind of Japanesey, and um, they wanted to distribute it, and then they realised they didn't want to distribute it, and I thought that was my one slim chance of um, making some proper money out of it, and I didn't. So I think I'm going to be crowdfunding a reissue, and I'm hoping that is going to work. But, um, oh, yeah, good call, man. Yeah. Well, what's the film about, Rob? It's a concept it? film with a guy called... Uh, he was a great guy. I mean, he had so many problems, and I have a particular interest in um, artists with serious mental illness. Uh, but his name is Daniel Johnston. And um, he's... he. People might know there's a photo of uh, Kurt Cobain wearing a T-shirt um, with his one of his album designs on the front, and he did he he, he had um, his song "Story of an Artist" was on a um, Apple advert last year. Um, <laughs> there's, but there's lots of other reasons people know know him. But um, he died in September, and um, they played they they showed this film as part of a tribute to him. Hello, hey. 
Oh, who have we got? Hattie, is that Hattie? It's very melancholy though. I, I, I went and listened to the song you, 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 um, you mentioned, the, the one that was featured in the Apple ad. And it yes. Was very melancholy. But it was, you could tell that he, that he was a tortured soul and you could tell that he was one of those sort of fringe artists that John Peel would have played, you know? Yeah, I mean, with... with I'm uh, sure John Peel probably did play him quite a bit. Uh, he yeah he might he might have done uh, the thing with Daniel was that he he started off with no uh, he basically in his own mind he was making masterpiece records uh, and it's a and it's a proof of the concept of the medium not necessarily holding you back because he was making these masterpiece records on a boombox or uh, you know very simple recording systems. So it's it's all very lo-fi. A lot of his early stuff. It's 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 it's, it's basically folk music, you know. It is purest. He was the songwriter it's... of his generation. Yeah. He um, he couldn't really sing that great, and he couldn't play that great. But he, the songs he wrote were magnificent, and um, yeah. th- songs like "Walking the Cow." Um, and a uh, story of an artist. Uh, he's got one called "Evening Stars." I like a lot. Um, just all incredible compositions that were recording these little cassettes, and after years, people heard about him, and and then eventually, I mean, he got a couple of big. Well, records. Sort of, the sort of guy that would get bootlegged, you know, bootleg tapes yeah. passed about, and yeah. Well, he did it. He used to. At one point, he couldn't copy cassettes, so he was re-recording his albums every time he gave a cassette away. <laughs> so he was, he he was. Um, Each album was one of a kind. Yeah. Yeah, he was a. It, but yeah, some of these songs are brilliant. And, so uh, what, yeah. what kind of genre of music we're talking about here, Rob? Um, he was a. What, they'd call him an outsider musician, but he was a. He he's he. He was biggest fans of the Beatles, and he basically wanted to write music like the Beatles and Elvis Costello and oh, okay. um, Paul McCartney. Well, he was in the Beatles. You may not be aware. <coughs> um, he, um, but he, um, yeah, he he was a he was a very interesting guy. I met him twice, um, and the first time was on the day of the gig, so I didn't really want to spook him. And um, the um, second time was when I showed him a, a rough cut of the film uh, uh, bef- just before another gig and that was great because he was so happy to see what we'd come up with and he was just he just went I just remember him going this is the greatest thing I've ever done and I was like whoa Daniel and he was and then he went off and played his gig and it was you know so it was like Michael Jackson yeah well he wasn't like Michael Jackson but <laughs> I'm just gonna check who we've got in the uh, chat here because I'm losing track of what's going on um, yeah, I did see Hattie coming. Hello, Hattie. Are you out there? I think hey, so. Hey. Yeah. Hello, Hattie. How are you? So nice to can speak you? to you. Oh. I can hear you. Yeah. Hey, Hattie. Oh. I'm starting to feel like Randolph and Statler from the Muppets, the two old guys <laughs> in the balcony. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting up in the, uh, in the balcony. You are on the air, by the way, Hattie. Don't forget, you are yeah, live. Magnificent. You are live. What? You are live on YouTube. Ooh, yeah! I, I thought I should point this Welcome out. Welcome to the broadcast, well, girl. Yeah. It took me about five minutes to realise I was. <laughs> I can't see the video though because I'm on my phone, so I can't. Oh, don't! Watch. I'm losing YouTube. it. I'm losing it. Nightmare on Pinball Dreams. So it's just like it. It's just like random stuff. I'm just playing while we just gather the on. Discord won't allow you to change up. Um. Happy. What? Where? Discord should allow you to change that. I can't watch them both at the same time. It, the sound will probably knack it. Okay. It's okay, don't well, worry. It's only me. It's only my face and then just graveyard. Just imagine me losing badly. You know, <laughs> balls balls <laughs> dropping through. But just imagine balls dropping through. You were doing better through. than I was doing earlier, talking and, and playing. Yeah, yeah. From what I can, from what I can see. Yeah, it's, it's all... It's all no problem whatsoever. Hattie, how is life for you? I I, I would run the thing, but I, I, I'm i not going to do it. How is life? How is life? Let me do the Michael Parkinson thing. How is life for you? What is it, Muhammad Ali? What is it that makes that makes you tick? What is it that gets you up every morning? Tell me. You see, Hattie always comes through with these sterling answers. <laughs> <laughs> Hattie, Hattie, what ma- what is going on with you? Tell me something exciting. No. No. 
Bye. Bye. Trying to plug the earphones in. Oh right. Okay. Sorry. Right. Yes. See, see this pressure. is it. This is it. Now, this is one of those moments where you just have to wing it when your subject is, you know, putting her headphones in, talking to the. You can hear the baby just gurgling and everything. Here we go. Uh, yeah. I'm. I'm. I just want. I want that equal representation. I want to have the female aspect on this channel. We need to. Get our quotas more sorted. More female out. voices, yeah. We definitely. need more female voices. And when I say female voices, I mean female voices. Oh. <laughs> Don't start with that. A female could mean anything, okay? So that's all I'm saying. I'm gonna say, but all I'm going to say... Well. All I'm going to say put is it, that... Put it this way, all are welcome. Yeah, all are welcome, yeah. There's nobody that's not welcome. Uh, all I'm going to say, no limits. You're welcome. There, all I'm going to say is, I I am very happy to speak to Hattie, who has produced two children into this world, and I'm not going to offend her by calling her a woman or anything like that, or a man, <laughs> or assigning any kind of gender. In fact, maybe I should ungender my language and just say they. And said, Hattie, are you ready yet? Are we gonna are you gonna tell me about the exciting things that are happening? No. No. There we go then. That's it. That's it. That's it. I build the build up has been magnificent and she answered the question truly, which is just you know, that's that's fantastic. Well, Hattie, I'm so glad to have you here. Feel free to interject at any time. This is really weird, I keep plugging the and you can, you Ugh. Help. <laughs> What's the matter, Hattie? Let us see. We're, you're right. Hello, IT department. How can I help? <laughs> right. I keep putting it in the hole. And right. IT department, Hello. not reproduction department. <laughs> 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 what are you putting in the hole, Hattie? Have you checked your flange grommets? <laughs> Confusing reigns. <laughs> this genderless, gender-free conversation is is shite. It's not good. Right. So, while Hattie is fixing out, sticking her thing in the hole in a carry-on film. Uh, you couldn't, you know, Sid James would, would, would shriek in horror at, 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 at where we're going with this. Um, what were we talking about? Shall I talk a bit more about America? Have any of you been to America? No, I would love to go. To be honest, it's a shithole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, you romanticise it and then you, you, you sort of hear about how it is over there and you're like, mm, yeah, it's, it's not the land, land of sunshine and roses Well, at there, all. there are only two places I've ever really been interested in going to in America, and that was California and Florida. <coughs> and I went to Florida. Oh, yeah, sure, for sure. I want to visit LA. Right, so I went to sure, Florida. Sure. And um, my, ex my experience of Florida is that there's lots of roads going to nowhere worthwhile in a, in one straight line <laughs> so you, you keep and thinking swamps. yeah well no i didn't see any swamps. i mean i actually didn't really I'm, i wasn't too far from gentle bend territory i wouldn't have minded going to the glades <laughs> um and i and i yeah one of those one of those jet boats those hover boats are, exactly uh, exactly mm. you know yeah. what i'm thinking of but i get the feeling James bond yeah, I get the feel. Yeah, exactly. Like, uh, yeah, exactly. I get the feeling that live and let die. I get the feeling yeah. if I get there, I should play live and let die. Really, I think I played it once in the stream before. I get the. F but when you get, I think if I'd got there, it would have been, you know, shite hold your lux. But um, yeah, I was not too far from Trump's um, Mara Lago place, and um, it's just, it, you know, like out of town shopping centres. Out of town shopping, you know, where you get like five or six big things. Yeah. It's like that every yeah. few hundred meters, and and it's like a, one of them cartoons where the background repeats. Yeah, like a Hanna Barbera. Yeah, it's like that. 
done like four meters of background. That's right. You get that, and you see a Walmart, and then you go another two mile up the road. There's another Walmart, and you go, and you go another two. There's another Walmart, or an or a wall. You know, green wall, green CVS pharmacy, blah blah blah. And um, there's no humanity in that place. There's no humanity in the nation that I could detect. Now I've only been to Florida. I don't know. Maybe in Poughkeepsie or uh, Delaware or somewhere like that. They're 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 all human beings but um, the other thing that confused me was that the people seem to conform to stereotypes there the Mexicans were all like they'd come out of a Speedy Gonzales cartoon not Speedy Gonzales the other guys and I found that unexpected <laughs> I was I was expecting but no they, they are kind of all standing around on the side of the road uh, not necessarily wearing blankets with a hole in but they're, they're kind of um, <laughs> They kind of stood around waiting for something to happen. Um, and some of them will stand there and not eat. I mean, and which is funny because they all look quite fat. And they, they, but they, they literally will stand at the side of the road and just, you know. It's, it's, it's the strangest country I've ever been to. And I've been to Istanbul. And that's not a Some country. Good knowledge there from glowing perspective. What's saying that? that the UK fits into, the, into Texas 13 times. Well, yeah, I can believe that. It's a big, big old place, for sure. Well, what I can uh, gather. But it's so cruel. It's so. There's no. I went to church there. I went to church with my hosts. I stayed with the most beautiful, wonderful people, and I feel sorry for them that they're in that country. I stayed with and and my friend uh, Vivian has been on this channel. Uh, she's she's watched a couple of times and she's commented a couple of times most lovely person you could ever meet um, genuinely a true true truly beautiful soul and her mother is just wonderful wonderful people and um, so that was nice but then every time you step out of their home and you go into that world it's like you're stepping into a ghost town nothing's happening I I, I went through um, West Palm Beach we, can, we just went through in the car there's nobody there yeah there's nobody there. There's nothing happening. That's what London is going to end up like if the Arabs keep on buying up all around Kensington. Um, nobody's in their homes. It's all holiday homes. Nobody's there. Um, but well, I, we went to this beach bar and there's like uh, quite a few people in there. Um, but just no, no soul. You know what I mean? The soul was not there. There was no... Well, I grew up in Milton Keynes, which is about the same age as I am, and there's no history or soul, and it's very, it's very, it's quite similar to the states in that well, respect. Do you know what? It's funny you should say that because somebody asked me what it was like earlier, and I said Miami, which I only passed through on the way to the airport, but I said Miami is like Milton Keynes, um, but the buildings are all a bit bigger. Uh, except, yeah. except, and, and it's and, been there a bit longer. And it's like all the heart of of Milton Keynes. If you and took the warmer. heart, if you took the heart out of Milton Keynes, now that's saying something. If you took the heart of Milton Keynes, then you find, <laughs> then you've got Miami. So yeah. <laughs> that's that's where you know it, it's it's a with the building. It's just strange. It's just a strange place. Um, very strange. How she was in Milton Keynes today? Was she really? How about that? Yeah. Oh, she's dropped out of the chat, has she? Oh. I believe so, yeah. No, she said that on Discord, yeah. The oh, last right. time I was in Milton Keynes, the, the sanctuary was still a thing. Yeah, I used to go to the sanctuary. Dreamscape, I call, I call dance. Dreamscape, was that? Yeah, Dreamscape. Dreamscape. The sanctuary, run by a guy called Murray Beasley. He was called DJ Picky, and he'd, he'd always play Dreamscape. He'd normally be the first DJ. Um, and he owned a record shop in, in Wolverton, Milton Keynes, called uh, Treehouse Records. Well, Dreamscape, I just remember the kids coming into school with like 13 tapes of the whole thing. Tape packs, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they'd be yeah, like... Yeah. I had them all. Going through the day, them. listening to these tapes. You know, well, I guess, I, I mean, the kids were like 11, 12 as well then. Oh, Dreamscape, yeah, we're going to go out and can't wait to go to start going to raves and everything by the time they're about 13 they were getting over to these things i guess but yeah yeah um and, and obviously being on the doorstep for the sanctuary and the bowl actually the bowl being I, I lived on the estate next to the bowl right so every time there was a concert so queen played mj yeah. played rem played i was just down the road and our, our street was is just a long the street i grew up on was just a long just 
a long road. It was a long straight road. So it funneled the sound up from the bowl. Yeah. And it was brilliant because we'd just have a street party when there was somebody gone on, good on the bowl and we'd just sit <laughs> out on the front. See, I Great. live I live near to an arena. Um, and um, I've, I've only been once <laughs> to see something there. The, the place that I'm getting evicted from is quite close, but you never hear any mu- any music <laughs> from there. You never hear any music. Are you seriously getting evicted, dude? Yeah. Oh, frick. That's not... I didn't make it up. No, I'm getting evicted, yeah. Yeah, no, no. Well, uh, no, I, I, you know, I assume you wouldn't have made it up, but... No, no, no. Yikes, man. Um, no, I'll be all right. Have you, got any, have you got any safety nets or... Uh, yeah, nets? kind of, but it's not an ideal one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it never is, is it? Um, problem is, oh the problem is that uh, it's yeah, it's complicated. It's like an offline conversation, but it's I'll, yeah, I'll, no, 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 yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. But I'll figure I, something I, out. No, I, I, I understand how sort of fundamentally stuff like that is and, and how important it is. So yeah, no. Well, no, I mean, I'd be all right if someone would give me a job, but for some reason I can't get arrested at the minute. So it's it's <laughs> and it's been that way for quite a while. So um, you know. I've been, I've been, I, I, it really annoyed me. I've talked about this on the stream, but this year I've had one interview I've been offered. And that interview I was offered was for a job that I was so well suited for. And it, and the more I've been thinking about it, the more it bothers me. I try not to think about it, but I was just sitting there thinking, oh my God, if you gave me this job, I would never work for another company. I'm going to be set up for life i'm done I'm, that's it i'm done i just knew that i knew there was no chance because as soon as i walked in they looked at me and said your face don't fit i could see one guy just going your face don't fit here yeah, man, that's, everyone in that's that off- everyone in that office was timid but they kept asking me questions and i knew i was giving good answers and i could see the one guy get more frustrated because he was thinking how am i not going to recruit this guy <laughs> how am i going to justify <laughs> not recruiting him and um and they didn't recruit me but if I'd had that job, I, my prob- I'd have no problems now. I would have moved. It. I wanted to move out in the summer, but I just, I just mm. didn't have the money to, for a private rent. And um, in Nottingham now, the rents you're, you're going to be paying at least six hundred pounds for a private rent because they brought in a licensing sure. scheme, which was a, oh. which, which is ridiculous. Which meant everyone's had to take up their their rents. Um, the rents have gone up by about a third in the last three years. I know because I manage rents for a couple of people I- around there uh, for family, um, and and it shot up. The costs have shot up. It's a it's a great example of councils regulating um, rents into into being quite expensive. So um, well, yeah, I suppose like there needs to be landlord regulation. Not and where it is. Registration of that is part of that, but at the same time, like you say, it's the knock-on yeah. effect of increased rents. Well, look where yeah. it, where they brought that in. I'll tell you what happens, right? Um, the count. Well, all right. I know this. I'm right. This is what I think happened. <laughs> Let me tell you what I think happened. This may or may not be what happened. I may or may I I. I, I, it, this is not something I am claiming to have solid knowledge that this is what happened. This is what I think might have happened. Somebody may have come up with this wonderful idea because there were some f- a few rogue landlords on the outskirts of Nottingham. And um, they may have come up with this great idea for a licensing scheme and paid, spent loads of money on developing it. And then someone at the last minute may well have said, um, you know all this money you've spent on this licensing scheme? There's this law that already exists that means we can deal with this tiny problem. <laughs> and you don't need to bring it in. And they went, oh shit, now we look a bit silly. So what they did was say, well, we'll bring it in for this massive region of the city where everything has been um, redeveloped in the last... 15 years and nothing is going to not be compliant because all of the regs were a lot higher you know you couldn't have done these buildings so everyone in the area has had to register on this licensing thing which was a minimum of 800 pounds um, and meaning that you've got to appoint a um, local uh, agent ideally to manage the licensing so it, it's taken the, the price up it's a complete and utter fuck up and it um, sounds like it's numbers, man. yeah yeah, it's just, it's just, um, so yeah, it's, it's basically the rents have just shot up in Nottingham. Um, Face, facepalm.gif. Yeah, and they go, oh, it's, there's, nobody's making any money on this, you know, um, and I'm like, yeah, of course nobody's making any oh, money. Oh yeah, like, n- there's no backhanders or like no, 
oh, my cousin's firm got the contract for this. Exactly. And There's a, a checkup oh, and yeah, everything, it's that, and yeah. it's done by a private firm. So it's 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 hopeless. So I'm um yeah. So it's so whereas like the rent I'm paying is well short of that at the minute. Um, but I, I can't. The step up is going to be a bit too much for me. If I had, if I could get a 20-hour week job, I'd be okay. Um, I'd be able to cover. I wouldn't be rich, but I'd be able to cover a, 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 a private rent, and I'd be all right. But I don't think that's going. Not a lot to ask, man. Sorry. It's not a lot to ask, really, is it? No, I've just been. I've been really unlucky with recruitment in the last few years. Um, I worked somebody on the scene gave me a job. I don't know if I've ever mentioned this before. Somebody on the Amiga scene gave me a job um, about 10 years ago, 8 years ago and uh, or got me a job and um, so you can get jobs out of this <laughs> this scene and um, I worked for a company for um, for 4 or 5 years um, in, in the Nottinghamish area and then uh, they had to let me go because they were in a bit of trouble and um, <laughs> funnily enough, one of the directors recruited his son and um, some, some, his son's mate, and they had a slightly different job title doing exactly the same job, but that's the way the cookie crumbles. Um, but yeah, I. Yeah, I good old nepotism. Yeah, it was a bit of a silly thing, that. But um, I don't know, I have to check if the company still exists. I know they sold off their hosting uh, business, uh, the web hosting. Um, but you know that was that did me for a few years, and since then I've worked for Apple on a contract, which was crap. Um, look, this 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 I tell you what annoys me. I worked for Apple. I got I got seven months work out of them, and I was a certified Apple um, like expert, whatever it is, whatever their bollocky thing is. Six weeks training at my expense. Um, I applied for an Apple shop job and didn't even get past the first the first rung. <laughs> Did not get past the first stage, so it's just ridiculous. When I and, and I'm I'm certified Apple by Apple, worked on their phone lines. So I, d I should I'm, I mustn't miss. Glowing perspective said I know someone who was paying eighty quid a week to share a room in East London. Yeah, yeah. that's ridiculous <laughs> to share a room. It might Oof. My my sister was um, at one point paying something like a thousand pounds a month. This is ten years ago. A thousand pounds a month for literally a shoebox, um, not not far off of Abbey Road. Um, like y y there was not room to have floor space and have the bed unfolded. <laughs> it was just ridiculous. But she was working in um, hoteling at the time, so I think if it drove her mad, she just booked a room for the night or something. You know. Um, but yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. London, you just don't bother with, and and the outskirts of London, you don't bother with either now. Uh, Nottingham is a good trade-off, but um, for value on property, but it's it's shooting up. You know, um, the prices are going up, and there there was a time when it was a good investment there, and I think the time might have passed for it to live in a city centre. Um, for the value you could get on property was. It was pretty cheap. Um, but yeah, now it's, like you say, it would have been a good investment sort of 15, 10, 15 years ago. I, well, yeah, sure. less than that. I mean, I over, yeah, 10 years ago, yeah, I mean, I oversaw a couple of purchases, not mine, not my money. I don't get any benefit from them. Um, but good properties. And uh, and the flat I'm in at the minute, you, I mean, the, for what it was bought for, you couldn't, re, you could not reproduce that value for what you get. It's an easily a million pound flat if it was in London. And it didn't cost a yeah. million pounds. Didn't cost well about a tenth of that. So, but all things come to an end, and uh, you know. Oh man, oh, I hope it works out for you, man. It won't. You, you know. <laughs> you, you, I hope you're able to land on your on your feet for it. So we'll get through it. Well, this is why I go on about this film because it. I mean, literally tonight I couldn't afford really to fly over. Now you know you're yeah, in a, well. eating your own eat your own arm situation. So I just thought, oh, no one's going to give me take any interest in this thing. Uh, they're not going to well, take any interest if in they me. Are, if they if they are that interested, man, they'll get in touch. Yeah, they won't though. It's not the way it works in that industry. I, I needed to be there hobnobbing. It's and just, I just, it's, yeah, it's a schmooze sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, and I don't speak. I mean, I, I if I, the ideal situation for me was if I could have taken my friend Vivian because she's a Portuguese speaker. 
and um, well, that would have been useful for a start. Yeah. Yeah. If I could have done it, and to do that, I really needed to have to say, right, this weekend I'm going to drop at least a grand on, on the whole yeah. thing, but but more more like two grand. And to be honest, that's a that's a third of a production cost for me. Yeah, because yeah, I need to fly people around, I need to book hotels, yeah. and it might need yeah. to go for a meal with someone. So you you budget for two grand, and you hope to spend probably a grand or a grand and a half. But you say ultimate. Uh, uh, a absolute limit is two grand and I, and I can do a top grade production for six grand so it's a lot of money to spend uh, you know on a on something like that to hope that someone's going to maybe give you work so but it would have well, been nice well, I, reward. I, I don't know what, what you've done towards sort of getting it entered into film festivals I didn't it, um, I didn't enter it they asked me yeah, no, well, maybe it's, it's it's time to sort of get working on uh, getting it out there to, to film festivals and getting some exposure. Well, and it's getting, a, getting it to get to, getting it to people, you know. It's an old thing now, and it's because he passed away. It's the Elvis thing. When people die, that's one of the peak parts in their career, and that's why I got interest. Uh, you know, my distributors started talking to me again about it, but it's like a, well, it's a 10-year-old project now, so... It's, uh, I'll do the yeah. reissue. I'll do the reissue, I think, and I'll try and crowdfund that, and we'll see if we get nibbles on it. Um, and like, you never know. I might suddenly raise, you know, thirty grand off of that, and then that gives you something that you can pay everyone that was involved and the estates of those who are involved, because two of the main players have now died, and um, you can, um, you know, have a little bit to play with to do something in the future, which is what I want to do because I've got a you know I've got a project that I want to work on um, with someone who's exceptionally good and, and undiscovered um, but it's well, really yeah, difficult yeah that's, that's always a good thing as well man yeah it's really difficult though and um, and you're thinking of crowdfunding I'm thinking about crowdfunding both things actually um, yeah 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 it's um Crowdfunding is the only way, really. To you need to have the money up front. Biggest mistake, biggest problem I had with this project, the, the Daniel Johnston one, was that it came just before crowdfunding. Uh, crowdfunding was kind of coming in just as we finished it. If I'd crowdfunded yeah. it, I would have known how yeah. many units to buy, physical units, um, and I would have had everything pre-funded, and everyone would have got a nice royalty. Whereas, you know, they haven't. It hasn't worked out that way. There isn't a nice royalty. See, there. another benefit of living in the future. Yeah, yeah, no, but it's not though, because if it was, if it, if I was living, um, if I was doing this the old-fashioned way, I might not have been able to produce it. I probably would have made a live album, um, and I probably would have um, made money on it because the physical sales would have been so much higher, and. Um, you know, you can't. Isn't that isn't that still an option, or is there rights issues like you're saying? Um, no, I can't do a live album because it's. It, mm. the, I've got it's pe there are people that were signed to majorish labels that I, I just got permission to use them synchronized to video, so you can't take that vi audio away, and um, right. from yeah. this, this yeah, synchronization no, to the picture. Um, but I mean, the one the one thing I mean when this when we talk about you know it being a labour of love. These things would not have been made if it wasn't for me. And now Daniel's dead, and there isn't really a, um, there isn't a, a, a well, yeah. record of him like we made. Um, you know, as, as, of him alive. People have done live stuff with him, but they haven't done the sound like we did it. And um, we we caught him on a brilliant night. You know, when he was at his absolute best. Um, so. Uh, and and one of the guys that played with him, Brett Hartenbach, sadly he passed away a few years ago from cancer. So we we were the only ones that were there for that, and we caught that. And you know, so it was a good. It's good that we did it, but you don't always get rewarded for that. Well, I suppose doing it is its own reward, man. Yeah. Look look at it that way, because you know you've 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 preserved um, a, a piece of folk art history you yeah know? it's it's thankless in terms you know, of financial things though. it's a lot well, to give of yourself to do it because it yeah, really no, yeah no, I completely get that yeah it, it, but I suppose it's you it's, it's out there man and if you don't put it out there then it can never be a success well what I, I think I, I think on. getting it out there is half the battle um, whether it is a success after you've got it out there or not is by the by 
I think just having having done it and got it out there is. Yeah, I, I guess so. There's solace in that. Yeah, well, there's definitely some, solace some. in that, and I think, and, and you know, people people will find it if 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 it's meant to be. People will find it, and it yeah, will so it will sort of find its it will find its audience. I'd like a, to find the place the 500 or so copies I've still got, or thousands, to be honest. It needs, it needs a big YouTuber to do a, a, a thing about him to, uh, to sort of boost some interest. No, I mean, there's been a so lot like of coverage. There's been a lot of coverage because it, because of his death. I mean, there was an article in The Guardian and, uh, you know, did his obituary in The Guardian, I think. Uh, yeah. So it's it's it, he's no, he's always been known, Daniel. He's been around for a while and... Um, you know, he was a good guy to to work with, though. You know, you, you need somebody it's... hip with the kids on YouTube to do a, a, a good sort of who is this guy sort of video. Yeah, I mean, I think it will come down to to the crowdfunder for me to get rid of the remaining um, physical copies I've got, and then do it as a crowdfunder for a Blu-ray or something like that. Um, and then we'll see what happens if the if people get excited because it is a kind of untapped release. We'll see if we get the um, the interest and and if it rolls and pick up a few grand and and then I can get on with doing other things. But I mean, after we did that, I got approached to do a um, live concert at the same venue with uh, an artist who's actually dropped off the radar, but at the time they were kind of on the up and up. Um, and um, I, I spoke to a couple of people and said, have you heard of this person? They went, yeah, why? And I went, oh, no re no reason. Um, I said, do you think they're any good? And yeah, and I was like, mm, okay. And um, we got to about two weeks before the, the date of this concert. And I was saying, uh, because the deal was going to be, they wanted the rights and I didn't want to give them the rights. I wanted to give them, uh, I wanted them to pay me to, do, to fund it and I wanted to retain some of the rights and make sure that director and producer royalties stayed intact and we got to a about two weeks before and i said look i've got to book the gear so where's the money and they said well look this is it we want you to fund this <laughs> we want Ooh. you to fund the whole thing and we want all the rights and it's good for your portfolio and i just went right you can <laughs> fuck right off i'm not i just uh, <laughs> all right i said okay you're messing me around now that's it we're not doing that and that one annoyed me but the one that really really and i just thought right i'm walking away now and getting you know well i've been I'd be, i was sick not too far long after i i made that film i had a uh, a, a little scare and it was nothing to it in the end but I just thought somebody said to me it's time just to get a regular job now um, but uh, I, I approached an incredibly a very well known person in the industry a lot of people know him um, his work he's worked with a, one of the biggest bands did a very seminal work with them and has worked with Disney and all the rest and, and I was talking to him about again at the same venue capturing a concert with him and um, and he was all up for it and it would have been that would have been a career maker for me and he said contact these guys these are the management we'll get it sorted out and I just got blanked by the management they would not touch me whatsoever and I and I sort of came back to him and I said I'm having a bit of trouble here and he said oh I'm really sorry if the suits aren't aren't playing ball he said I really want to do it I, and he'd seen he'd see, he was aware of what I'd done with Daniel um, which was something because this guy was someone I really had high I, I he's, uh, he's one of the best guys around and um, and he used to work on the business side as well and he sort of said I'm sorry you know sorry we can't it looks like we're not going to make it happen so that really pissed yeah. me off and I, I just kind of I couldn't be bothered after that if I couldn't get him um, then I couldn't there was not many people I was going to get I wanted to get so um, yeah it was it's frustrating but there's lots of stories like that and like you say at least I did something and I will do yeah, man, something tried, again and that's, that's half the battle you know because if you hadn't have tried yeah you know you would have never known if it would have come of anything and you might have regretted not doing it there's not many people that get a five star review in record collector there's very few titles that get five stars. What the, uh, the the Angel and Daniel Johnson? Yeah. Live got. Yeah. Yeah, man, that's that's uh, yeah, that's that's wicked. That's yeah. pretty good. There's not there's not many that get that kind of rating. So 
I was um, I was pretty happy with that. Mojo gave us three stars, but Mojo call up and say, "Oh, do you want to buy some advertising before you before the oh, reviews go in?" And I and I just said to them, "Look." I have, I've literally, I mean, I paid for the, to complete the film with a tax rebate I discovered I had. I mean, I was just trying to find money anywhere. And um, I just said, look, I am, until money comes in, I've got nothing. I need this thing to sell. And he's like, well, you know, it'll be mm. this much for a quarter page. And I was like, Phew. and I've got a feeling that <laughs> might have affected the review score, but I couldn't possibly say that solidly. Yeah, old computer magazines work like that, so. Yeah. I shouldn't imagine them with the magazine industry. I think it's probably worse now because it's more cutthroat. Somebody said to me they'd heard rumours that certain magazines work that way. Got four stars in uh, DVD and Blu-ray review, which was good. They never tried to get me to buy any advertising, I'll just point out. So, um, God bless them. And we get, I think we got five stars in a French magazine as well. I know I bought the French magazine. I ordered it. Um, I've, got it I've got it around somewhere. So, yeah, it's... Um, yeah, well, it's ten Fun to one. games. It's yes, it's ten to one. I'm going to lose this last ball because I've been playing awful here. It's just been a ramble, really, hasn't it? It's just turned into. Yeah, a I'm a very, very tired monkey, man. But I'm glad to have met you and that. I've yeah, subscribed. It's good. And I reckon anybody that's lasted this long with us, God bless them. Yeah, yeah, it's that's it. Look, let me just let this ball roll away. Dump down it goes. Yeah, so it's been my name's Glenn, by the way. Graham, nice to speak to you, my friend. Glenn. Glenn, Glenn sorry, Glenn. 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 Nice to speak to you. Yeah, aka yeah. Monkey Jesus. Also, yeah, no, no, I'm, I'm glad. I'm, well, you know, I've really enjoyed it, mate. Um, I really That's have. Good. It's yeah. been, been <laughs> discovering I was live. Um, yeah, yeah. I've just seen but, Hattie still in the chat. I've just noticed, and she's. <laughs> yeah, I'm still here. I was just listening. To she's, she's just been sat there talking. God bless you, Governor. <laughs> Hattie doesn't want to talk. Is, um, Leo. I I think we're all very tired, aren't we? Yeah, I've I think got... if we put our collective tired together, we'd probably just crash yeah. into a black hole. Oh, I can keep going. Remember, this is two o'clock as well, isn't it? On on, but if if it wasn't. Yeah, shifting. well, because we yeah we went back an hour, didn't we? Yeah. Um. Yeah. No. Oh, it's been a grand week that I've enjoyed this week. I've had my family with me this oh, week. Oh, that's good. Um, my daughter and my ex came to stay. Lovely. And it was a, it was a it was a fun week. That's we good. laughed. We laughed a lot. Well, that's good. See, that's it. That's what, good times. That's what you want. Good times. Remember the good times. Keep up going yeah, with man. the good times. That's it. That's it. Focus on the positive. <sighs> Accentuate the positive. It's so hard. It? It's so hard, though, because, I mean, look, I am one of these unrelenting... I'm not... I won't say I'm unrelentingly positive, but I am I am unrelenting. I don't stop. I just keep going. Because <laughs> I have to. Because, honestly... You if have I, to, man. You have to keep that belief in yourself. You, you have to keep... So every time you wake up, you've got a, a, a new chance to make things better or get things started or, or make or make stuff happen you know if i went through the story of my life you would not you would not believe it and if you oh. look, i i've left out so much stuff <laughs> that this year has been not a great year in terms of like i i was in such a big <laughs> little hattie it's okay. little hattie, it's hattie's little one waking up oh okay yeah no I, just, I thought it might have been i'm just gonna it did i did have a little bit of a, a chill run up my spine when that happened <laughs> yeah it wasn't uh, it wasn't it wasn't my, go to oh, sleep go it was almost a jump scare <laughs> to sleep little baby is that working hattie <laughs> yeah go to Sorry sleep about that. go to it's how all right how old are they hattie i'm not, I'm not gonna okay. sign an agenda that's it. Um, he is ten he months. Is ten months. Oh, bless him. He, he was assigned gonna... at birth, male. Look, <laughs> they they start they start getting they start looking like they're gonna look a bit more, and they start sort of developing sort of personalities at this point, and it's great. Yeah, that's what I've got. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So does he? Does the most important thing is? Um, when are you going to get him on your Amiga? But you haven't got an Amiga at the minute, have you, Hattie? Um, not, not here. No, there's one at my mum and dad's house, but do you yeah, act, do in you, a cupboard somewhere. Do you actually play any Amiga games then, these days? Not at the moment, no. No, because I, I don't play them. No, because I have no weapon. Because you've got, well, you could use Win UAE if you've got a laptop or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, like literally Amiga. Oh right, yeah. 
I'm just because I thought the other thing is because yeah, you're, you know, you're a grown woman of, you know, if you don't mind me <laughs> saying, uh, but you know, we've we've got you've got children and all those kinds of rea- reality has unfortunately hit you, whereas you know me, yeah. I'm you know I'm obviously a wastrel, uh, <laughs> a, a nerd do well, a Herbert of of you know, uh, a, a free agent. Well, I am a free agent, you know. I'm just wandering this. Uh, I'm literally wandering the earth. I wander the earth, spreading my joy and happiness to everyone, and I'm. J- I just don't think I'm appreciated for it. Hey, Amiga Bang. I don't play any Amiga games either, to be honest. Has the on. has the chat stalled? Has the chat stalled? Because I've got a feeling. Yeah. Oh no, yeah, Amiga Ben, they, 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 it hasn't stalled. Okay, yeah. we just have, we've just only yeah. four people watching. Might play an iPad every now and again, but that's all. I've been recently, I've been playing games. Uh, my ex gave me her old phone because I broke mine. Right. And it it plays some it plays some great games, and this uh, I've been playing Wheel of Fortune, and it's yeah. it's really quite good. Wheel. There's another one called Draw It as well, where you you know yeah you have to draw it. Talking of phone games. Phone ga- well, the only one I like is Beach Buggy Games. Is Beach? The Beach. There's Beach Buggy Racing and Beach Buggy Rally, I think. Something like that, they're called. Right. Yeah, I might have to check that out. Is that kind of like Hill Racer? You've just got to get the, across the landscape. and Maybe. You've got some... I don't know, because I don't really know much about anything from the last 20 years. I kind of stopped with games in about 1996. And then anything like people talk about games. I hear people talk about that under watch and uh yeah. there's uh Fist one night. Called, I've not heard of that. Is there's one called Assassin's Creed and there's all these things I hear about them and I just think they're crap, you know, I'm, they're gonna be crap and then I see them. Like I've seen I keep seeing that, that these Assassin's Creed Black Flag was basically um Sid Meier's Pirates writ large. And they, oh, really? they got that right. Well, I, I keep seeing these games, which are like um, SAS. They look like SAS missions. And uh, I I actually don't think they should allow that because um, that's messing up people's minds. I, I know people that have been on SAS missions. And they you, you, very rarely do people recover from going on those kind of, doing those kind of things. Um, and I find it, I find it unpleasant that they're making games out of them, things that will warp people's minds. So I don't know. I don't know. I just. Um, but well, uh, Call of Duty, Call of Duty uh, Modern Warfare. It's, is it one or two? Is there's that um, you're in the airport? It's quite the, the mission's called No Rush, and it was quite infamous. Yeah. You you'd, you, you can either choose to mow everybody down or mm. not, but. It, uh, it was quite grisly, and that's and yeah. No, I, I can I completely see what you mean. It is, it's a bit full on. It's well, it's first person, and it's you're looking at their you're looking at their view, and then going out and then doing these operations that that in a similar style to how actual operations work. They're not bang on the same, but they're they're similar. Um, well, there's the America's Army game that's been around for yonks. Mm-hmm. That's basically a recruiting tool for for the American Army. You know, so really? yeah, it's. Um, I don't like it. I don't like it. War and and that kind of those kind of military operations yeah. are very scarring I, I things. Nice. I was always progressive with with video games, and I was always happy when there there was a leap in technology. Mm. It, it for me, it was logical. Well, it's um, shooting fish in a barrel now. This is the thing. Uh, if you're I tr- try, well, the, there's a lot of it. <clears throat> there's, well, there's, there's definitely a lot of it. When these kids go out and they start shooting people, um, as happens frequently. I, 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 I don't think you can put that on video games, to be fair. No, I, I don't I've, think video games. I think bad parents and and, and you know, emotional neglect on their part is is probably more playing a part and living in an effed up society as well that's you know well the thing it, is um it's that a very toxic to- toxic world isn't it really i can understand where you're coming from but the thing is I, I bad parents I wouldn't, I wouldn't lay, 
See, no, because like, there's been violence in video games since video games. There has, and but it's. For... I, I, we we grew up with it. It didn't. We didn't go school well, shooting. We used think... to play Jim Power. He'd shoot a bu bunch of people, no problem. And we'd we'd play body well, blows. The, and... the thing is, like, the, you know, the the um. I I think it's just it, you know it's a scapegoat. As, far as I'm concerned, blaming games for 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 violence, I think it's it, it's a false positive. This is the this is the problem I have with that um, stance, uh, where, where I don't think it quite adds up. Is because bad, you know, there can be po problems with parenting. I can see that there can be problems with I they, think they also can contribute access to, to guns. Is you know access that's to guns? A, a yeah, big thing. Not so much here, but in America, in America, yeah. Is, is is extremely easy but the the thing yeah and, and that's something i think is i think that plays a part as well because you know if you don't have access to a gun you can't go on a shooting spree but the th the thing that these games do is they show operations that's where the problem is for me you can't well, so get away from that they well i i think that most people are able to distinguish though that it's a game they can distinguish a lot of people can distinguish but it's not about distinguishing it's that they show the methods they show the weaponry in detail they show tactical approaches so when when these kids are shooting up places they're not doing it in terms of a, a, a they're not doing it as a complete novice they're maybe not doing it the perfect way the sas would do it but yeah, they're but going they in with a huge amount of knowledge that, like when the um when they did the score shooting back in the nineties, um, the, those two Dylan, the Columbine, mm. all they had then was Doom, and yeah, I, you can't really blame. You no, know, maybe that wasn't, but a lot. Of the, you know, since then there's been a lot, a lot more, and the way they're operating, they the the thing yeah, that gets me is when you point, speak to people if, and if, they if, are if aware. You're at games, but if you're pointing at games, then you, then maybe you should start pointing at films and television as well. And then yes, I, I think back there's to the censorship, which is yeah, but I, I can and I can see that. I just think the line should come. The first per sh person shooters that give you that perspective, and they're like training for doing that. It's like Whoa. training, and ninety nine point nine 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 percent of people <laughs> they they can play those games and not and have that knowledge and not act upon it. But the the naught point naught 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 one percent of people in real terms is a lot of people. It's an awful well, lot of people. The thing is, people have gone on shooting sprees and killing sprees long before video games. They have, yes. And these people are going to do something like that sooner or later. Um, do I'm not do sure violence? Do violence in media influence that? They. Probably do, yeah. They might but, do, but they wouldn't necessarily but, shoot but up a hundred people. If we people. start censoring media, I think, I think if we start censoring media again, that would that would be counterproductive, and that would that would you know. I'm not sure if we can progress. censor it. I'm not sure if we can censor it, but I I think that the people that are producing this stuff. Um, I certainly do believe that should it, be it should be age certificated, and it, that should be sort of adhered to. And parents should take the responsibility and say, you know, I'm not letting my ten year old play this clearly adult game. Well, let me put think, it this you know, way. Like, let me put it this but way. At the same time, you've got to trust your child. You know, being a parent, you, you you've got to sort of have the faith in your child to know that they're going to know the difference between life in a video game but there'll always be a sizable proportion that will take that take that knowledge and will go out and shoot people that's why this is a problem that will become endemic because they well, what the we have is, now the got thing is if you if, if you servicemen you 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 know all those techniques as well um yeah if so... you're a serviceman but now what we're getting are average people in the street that know about operations that before only sas people would know and the SAS people that were, you know, specials that were, I, I, I'm, I'm hearing people saying things, and my ear is pricking up because I'm thinking that how are people learning this? Where are people getting this from? And how are people? And pe even in the games, they're developing their own strategies, which are not, you know, people are going their own way. They're figuring out their own ways how they can kill a, a maximum number of people. You used to get shootings 
of people. You still get shootings of people where it's one or two people. Now people are going out trying to kill lots of people. Very unusual. Very different. Well, no, I know. I would, I would like for a long time, man. I, I, it's not a new thing. Um, you, you're always going to get nutballs, and you're always going to you get people that are disposed, predisposed to to that kind of behaviour. It's one of the realities of. T it's one of those things with the technology. It's one of the realities of that technology. There's some things that are good, some things that are bad. The 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 potential for child abuse with the new technology is so incredibly huge. It's so well, vast. The the the, the, the vulnerability well, the of, of it more than anything. Not so much because it, again, it existed long before. You know. <laughs> It's existed since humans, so yeah. But this is a new scale. It's this the is proliferation different. of it that's that's probably the 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 worst thing about the, the you know the the birth of the internet because yeah no it has created and that's that's scary. Well, there's sure. they, you can't keep there are things going on that people can't keep a lid on, and people's personalities are becoming warped beyond all recognition. There are people out there who are not developing in the, their mind is not developing properly because they are um, exposed to things via the internet. I mean, I I I mix with uh, um, a few people who are uh, who who have come through the internet generation who are now in their mid to late twenties. Um, and I know, you know there was somebody I was working with lot this year who's was kind of 28, 29 ish. And I, I was actually surprised by how much of her as a, as a well brought up, um, woman, how much of her mind was framed within internet concepts and she couldn't step out of that. She couldn't, come away and every now and then she'd step back and you I'd say well what what's the value in that that's a very and she'd go oh yeah you're right you know it's a it's it's a it's changing the way that people are thinking it's and it's people like the retro it's really the retro guys are, are a lot better grounded when it comes to um this stuff you know you can see i like i like ravi abbott and dan wood they make their um retro hour podcast which is fantastic just around the corner from where i live uh never met them before but they they seem like really good guys and um everything they do is grounded they talk in human terms about this stuff you well that's, that, well, that's the other thing about that's the other side of the coin to to this technology is it does bring people together mm. um and unfortunately, yeah. that you know, that's it's not always a good thing, as what we were discussing a minute ago. But it, it is a good thing when, in terms of meeting people that you share an interest with, and that being a healthy, mm. you know, um, pleasant thing. And I think that's that's just to be celebrated, man. Well, you know? you, yeah, it depends. It, it all swings around. Like I said, a lot of things would be a lot more difficult if we we didn't have the internet. It's it's opened up a Pandora's box that can never be closed, and um, yeah, for sure, we will we will see where we end up with it. I think um, there's a lot of things. Have you ever seen the film Idiocracy? No. <laughs> it's, by Mike, it's by Mike Judge. You did um, yes, did Office King Space. of the Hill. King of the Hill. Yeah. Have you seen it? No, I haven't. Get it, Watchman. <laughs> All right, I might it's kind of where we're at now. It's kind of, but yeah, no, it's it it it. it, it I watched it again recently. Mm. I watched it when it came out at the time, but I watched it again recently, and it sort of spoke to me. But yeah, well, I'm glad. I mean, yeah, I, I... A, guy, a guy gets frozen and wakes up in the future, and everybody's really freaking stupid. Yeah, <laughs> yes, and... is essentially the plot of the film. I think I, and, I think Terry Crews is in it, and Terry Crews is great. <laughs> I think it's a um, yeah. I think that's where we kind of are a bit. I mean, the the thing that gets me. I, this is a great example of how you can tell that there's a problem. Um, there's a big thing at the minute. I, I I think with news presenters, news presenters are not doing news presenting anymore. They're now giving opinion, which you can't. Yeah. You cannot do. The Ofcom regulations prevents that from happening in well, I, in the UK, and it's happening. I don't consume. I don't consume uh, any, any television, so I. Good. It's 
not something I'm particularly aware of, but yeah, no, it, it was heading that way last time I watched it. Oh, now, 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 you, they're they're like Krishna and Guru Murphy. I've seen him recently trailing, you know, Channel Four News, whoever he's on. Well, Brexit, mm. Mm, we're in a mess with it. Mm, he's pretty much he didn't have it. Mm, we're pretty much in a mess. Brexit, oh, what are they going to do now? Huh? This Brexit thing, hey? Huh? News presenters have well, no suppose- opinion. About Brexit, they read the news the, yeah, and they the, fuck the, off the home. Said about it, and, the, and, the, and everyone's so fatigued by it. And news presenters what, should what never do express. And I suppose he's paid to say stuff, and he's like, "Well, there's not a they flip should, load to say about it." They should never express any kind of opinion. It's written in the Ofcom rules. It's been there for time immemorial in in television broadcasting in the UK. Yeah, no, yeah, 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 yeah. The news should remain impartial. They yeah. read it. Moira Stewart, Al- Alistair Stewart, two Stewarts, isn't it? Alistair Stewart was the other guy. They read it. Yeah. This is happening. Da, 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 da. Moira Stewart would be, this has happened. Oh, hang on. Hattie's going. So she's dropped out of the chat. Night, Hattie. Yeah, yeah nice. I'm, I'm going to have to go. Yeah, and yeah, I know. I'm, I'll just... talk forever and I've got to be up early in yeah, the morning. So, Well, we'll call it a night. Been, it's been, been a pleasure, man. Glenn, it's been lovely. To see. It was Glenn, wasn't it? Thank you for having me. Yeah. That's um, we might my pleasure. Well, yeah, we probably will do. I don't know. I'm a waffling old bastard. Uh, but. Well, you know. <laughs> let's see what we'll see what happens. All anyway, right, man. It was nice. Meeting you. Take it easy, <laughs> Take you, it easy. And I'll and I'll close down this stream. So uh, let me just yeah. shut this up. Good night, my friend. Good right night. there we go. Look, I've cut him off in his prime. Well, so the, anyone that's left watching, I mean, I've got no idea what the numbers are. Three. Okay. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? Uh, Good night, Amiga, ba- Amiga Bang. Thank you for following. I've never, I don't believe I've ever seen you follow before, so thank you. Make sure you're subscribed. If you're not subscribed, I think you probably are, though. And uh, yeah, thanks everyone for watching. A bit of a rambling stream, but you know, we got there in the end. Take it easy, everyone. Good night.